Surprised. I got my copy already. <laughs> yeah, me too. I'm just asking, Bobby, you don't talk about Sports Illustrated. They must not come out till in the stores till today, because when I bought my one cent toilet tissue yesterday at Publix, they weren't out yet. I'm surprised I got mine yesterday. I figured my mailman had mine for a week. It came in a week ago. <laughs> 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 no, we don't get that. Oh, dang. Good. Have to go find me a. <laughs> Right they get the more nice complaints. Man. This is the most popular issue they ever have. And uh -huh. they get more complaints about it than they do any other. Who complains? Women. Oh, well, Why? that's understandable. Mm -hmm. Because they're not in it. Sort of. <laughs> if I was to carry that to, to, so, to, carry that to work, they would literally... Now, why, why, why do women her. complain about it? What are they looking at it for if they're worried about it? Sports fans. They've got some probably. really no, pretty They don't want their kids looking at it. It's for the ads. It's for the, you know, Let you read see. the ads in it. You going to do sports? There's nothing wrong with it. What's happening? Are you still doing your radio show? I think so. Yeah, I just want to. I don't think they're going to do sports today or what? Are we going to uh, talk about? Uh, yeah, let's see. Tomorrow night, got an interview with uh, Lee Lochnane, the original trumpet player for Chicago. He uh, has family members that live right here in Athens. Uh, also, going to talk to Paul Anka, uh, the original hungry. songwriter of the Did My Way, also the Johnny that. Carson theme. He's also the writer of that. I'll tell you a request. I sure do. If you listen, Mike Blakely's a viewer. I mean, a listener. He does. He right, right. listens quite often. How them hot dogs coming, Frank? I'm too. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's move on here. Frank's in the kitchen. Give me a Frank's cooking. Oh boy, he's watching it. Look at him. He's, he's watching it closely. Watch that food cook now, Frank. No, he's he's reading the recipe to make sure we did it right. All right, let's get into this week's sports report. All right, big news really is going to be Peyton Manning. They found out uh, recently that the, he had four procedures last year instead of three on his neck. That doesn't sound good. Now, he's been cleared by his doctors, but I'm telling you, there's something still weird going on with this whole thing. Uh, talks with the Colts are coming up within the next week. Now, of course, March 8th is that deadline where they owe him $28 million uh, roster bonus is what it is. He has until March 8th. Uh, they were talking about uh, the owner's going, well, it's up to Peyton, up to Peyton. Yeah, well, it's right. not up to Peyton. You know what he's going to do. He's going to hang around until that March 8th deadline and get his money. But it's up to the owner to decide what they're going to do with Peyton Manning. But they can fire him or not release him. Oh, absolutely, they can release him. And it would be smart for them to do that. But, but they have to pay out his contract, too, though. From, from that standpoint, about $28 million. That's the most important part. So uh, I still said from originally there's something more going on. Well, in your professional opinion, is he gone from Indy? Oh, I yes. I think so. Uh, player two. He ought to retire. That's a good question. You know, there's been talk of the Titans. I don't think that's going to happen. Talk. About, the biggest talk has been the Dolphins, I think. How about Tennessee? The Titans? No, said. I don't think so. Yeah, I, don't, I, don't. I mean, that's what I'm saying. What about those? No. Well, That'd be know, a good draw for him. He might sure because he's right here. I mean, he went there, I, so. I don't think so. I, yeah, it's, the talk is still the Dolphins. I, I don't know. I, I just... We need, not, I, show. we need to get him on the show and interview him. I, I'm not totally convinced. Betty can't wait. I, I'm, I'm still not totally convinced he can still play. <laughs> he, he needs chili. He wants some chili hot dogs. Anything with a neck? Uh-oh. -uh, I don't know. All right, Southie. Why take the chance of getting paralyzed the rest of your life? Ego. Well, yeah. I mean, he doesn't some people have them. Not, I mean, he, all he did was do a fusion. Wouldn't your health be more important? Still desire to play. Ain't none of us medical doctor. You know what my mama told us that day. We weren't smart enough. <laughs> <laughs> you weren't smart enough to be a doctor. Moving on. In in other, that in other, every day in other, in other words, some of us ain't. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Southeastern Conference basketball last night. South Carolina over Georgia and Tennessee bullied up by Arkansas. Bama has fallen below the 500 mark in the Southeastern Conference. They're 16 and 9 still overall, but Ooh. still bad in the Southeastern Conference. Anthony Grant, and of course, yeah, and of course Kentucky more. still remains the clear cut team above the rest in Southeast Conference, number one in the country. They're so clearly above everybody else. Tournament? Is tournament? Bama ain't going to make it. So it's, uh, well, there's still Florida. a possibility they can. They're going to have to make a run here at the end. Well, they're 16 and 9 overall. They're below 70, right? They're 16 and 9 overall. They can make a run and still make it, but it doesn't look good. So what were you going to say about Anthony? Well, he's got a thing that says losses don't make Grant relent, you know, because he got rid of all these guys. I mean, he's held his own down there, but it was well, supposed to be a better season. But uh, hey, Well, there again, if they're a football conference, unless you're Yeah, I know. Uh, of course, if they're 
breaking the rules, you got to do something about them. It's called discipline. So, mm. by the way, high school basketball is sub regional for boys are on Friday. The girls are tonight. Athens, Spartan, Decatur, Austin, Brewer, West Limestone, Elkmont, and Tanner still just among the many schools still alive for a berth in the state tournament. Oh, yeah. And the girls, you have Athens, West Limestone, Clements, Tanner, and many, many more right. still in the running for the state tournament berth. While we're talking about that, let's talk about their article in the Huntsville Times this morning. Trinity, West Morgan's Hayden Hamby. Have you seen the stats on this whole yeah. This, this She's girl, awesome. now they've never made it to the championship game, never made it to, uh, I think they got as far as Hansel, I'm thinking. She was last year's Miss Basketball and the two-time 3A player of the year. She plays over at West Morgan. Uh, they beat Clements the other day in the Air 15 Finals. They, uh, that earned seventh-ranked West Morgan a home game against Rogers tonight. Here's her stats. Shut up. Pay attention. She scored 29.1 points a game as a freshman with 10 rebounds. The next year went to 26 points a game, then 33 points a game as a junior. This year, this girl right here is averaging 35 points a game and 11 rebounds a game. Wow. That's unbelievable. That's, that's like stats. a Miss Pistol Pete right there. Yeah. yeah. Holy smokes. Yeah, she's she, good. She's got better stats than you did. Yeah. No. And I've seen her play. Uh, the girl she's good. Can, she can put on a show. She's good. She's good. Right, the high school wrestling state tournament is uh, starts tonight all the way through Saturday at the Vaughn Brown Center in Huntsville. So if you're going to see the top wrestlers in the state of Alabama right here in Huntsville. Hey, one thing I noticed you didn't mention. Uh, Frank didn't like the chili. I don't Bob know. Jones hosted the finals the other day. <laughs> <laughs> Decatur and Austin. That's the biggest disappointment, I think, in the high school basketball season so far. Them getting beat by yeah, Decatur? Yeah, I mean, here's Bob Jones at one time ranked number one. They slipped to number two, which is still fine. And then they get into the first round of the playoffs and they lose. Shocker to everyone. I, what a I really great. thought Bob Jones had a good run going into the state tournament. Well, they, they were ranked only had about two losses all year, didn't they? It's what? like 20 something and two. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. What about your buddy, Tate Luther, uh, taking the Jigs, job yeah. down at uh, Clemens High School? Clemens, Clemens High School. Uh, yeah, Luther's uh, jumping. Is that a shocker? No, not really. From the standpoint, I think Luther has run his course at Spartan, still does a great job. I mean, he's still got Spartan still playing. You know what? And I, Luther I, will finish to the end. Tell me. He is that kind of a guy. He will finish to the end no matter what school he's at. You know what high school Luther played at? Yeah, what Russellville. The stove's on. Hey, I see smoke coming out of the frying <laughs> pan. Frank is in charge of the Frank, kitchen. Just make sure that uh, we don't want to burn down here. So take that Frank off and turn that. Make sure that burner's turned off. This is not a prison. Just make sure all the eyes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm not seeing things. He's seeing things. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, Luther. Luther. Luther played at Russellville. Went on to start at UNA. You ever, yeah, you ever see Friends, where he runs out for fire, runs over Did everybody he play for uh, Coach Jones? Yes, and, and and then Gary Elliott came on, and uh, I had the privilege of uh, covering Luther when he was in high school, then he went on to college, so oh, okay. him and I known each other for a long time. All right, Huntsville Havoc are at home on Saturday at the Von Brown Center, and on Saturday, we talked about this last year, this is their second annual wiener dog races <laughs> at, at one of the intermission. It is fun. They get these dogs all lined up on the end of the rink, and then, boop, they let them run. Now, the owners get on the other end of the rink try to uh, persuade them to run this way. It is fun. I it's I very, very entertaining. I can interrupt you. But Frank just gave us the look that this stuff tastes like doo doo. <laughs> That's his second hand. Frank, hey, he's still Frank. eating it. He's still eating it. Uh, Frank, yes. What? You're, the, you're still eating it, but I mean, it can't be that bad. That's a second serving. <laughs> well, maybe we just need to add something to it. <laughs> it's, you never, it's, it never could. I've eaten no. It's like a bad well, beer. It's like home? a bad beer. You're not going to throw it away. I should have made some gumbo. <laughs> right, go ahead. That's too much work. Go ahead. Oh, God. It's like a bad beer. You're not going to throw it away. The weenie's being heated. I'm hungry. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. I got one. Try that stuff. The weenies are inside the chili now. Yeah, okay. We just mix it all together. Michael will just throw the okay. buns in there, too, and just mix <laughs> it up. Shut up. Okay, Bobby. Well, I'm waiting on the camera to turn around. <laughs> oh, he's got you. Don't worry about the camera. He he's talking. Well, he didn't. <laughs> Well, all right, the about, world, we got you. Thank you. The world golf rankings out. Luke Donald still remains number one. The top American in the world golf rankings is Steve Stricker at number five. Now, Phil Mickelson, with his win last week, which was marvelous, moved up from two to number 11 Marvel. from 17. And Tiger remains number 18 in the world in the latest world golf rankings. Hmm. NASCAR, we're less than two weeks away from that green flag being thrown at Daytona 500. Don't they run the butt shoot after Saturday night? No, that's the fall <laughs> next week. And then the Daytona 500 on February 26th, that's noon at Fox on Channel 54.
So Danica oh. Patrick, by the way, has been guaranteed to yep. start. I think spot the this Saturday night. Well, it may be. Yeah, I think yeah, the Budweiser is this weekend. Yeah. 26 is Sunday. You're right. Yeah, that's when, the, that's when they run it. Yeah. All right, never say never. never. Gloria will probably appreciate this one. Oh, boy. Chicago's Wrigley Field. Yes. You know, they were the last field in Major League Baseball to put in lights back in 1988, right? Okay. They are now the last field in Major League Baseball to install an electronic scoreboard. They're going to have a new one in Wrigley Field <laughs> oh, in awesome. right field. Now, here's the interesting part. You know the old scoreboard in center field, it's uh, done by a man. A man yeah. gets to put, mm -hmm. puts the letters in, the numbers and all. Uh, that it was built back in 1937. That scoreboard will remain at Wrigley Field. The reason is it's protected by the local landmark status. They can't get rid of it. It's a oh, national oh, landmark oh, in the Chicago oh, Wrigley when Field. When do we get the Sports Illustrated in the Naked Women? <laughs> <laughs> and finally, Jamie. Finally, <laughs> today's quote of the day comes from Bear Bryant. Jamie, you're going to love this one. Bear Bryant once said, "By Sports Illustrated." He said, <laughs> "If you want to walk the heavenly streets of gold, you got to have the password, which is." Roll, Tide, roll. All right. There you go. That's we the sweet. We're going to look that magazine no. and roll. Oh, well, we can. Gosh. We'll show the cut. You can buy boy. yourself one today. Can I get one? Well, yeah. Yeah, we'll, we'll think. That's a cover. Yep, it's pretty good. Hey, there's one party in here where they, they paint the bathing suits on. Oh, my goodness gracious. I should have grown up to be a painter. <laughs> a finger painter is what I should have been. We're doing the same thing at our house this afternoon. Hey, yeah. Okay, anyway. Uh, I'm not even going there with that one. All right. Moving right along. All right, let's take a break. We'll wind up in the kitchen. Somebody's going to eat a hot dog that kills them in here this morning because that was my idea. Yeah, that hot dog might blow up. The youngest person in here has got to eat a hot dog. Y'all hang on. We'll be right that back. That be Jake.